Are you looking to level up the look, the feel, maybe even the sound of the content you're creating? Well, in this video, I'm gonna discuss 10 different items that are priced under $100 that will definitely help you create better content for your audience. Hey, how's it going guys? C Santos here, and this channel is all about helping you and inspiring you to create content with whatever means necessary. So if you're interested in learning about technology, gear, or other ways of creating content, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. So before we get started, I do actually have links to everything I'm going to mention in this video linked in the description down below. They are affiliate links, so I do get a kickback when you use those links. All right, so first off, let's talk about the elephant in the room, and that is this green screen that you see right behind me. I've actually owned this green screen for a little over six months now, and I've come to love it. This green screen by Newer is collapsible. It measures eight by five feet. It comes with a stand and has many different ways for you to mount it. So if you're a content creator in the gaming niche and you need a green screen, this is definitely big enough for you to just put right behind you, point your camera at, and be able to key yourself out live in an environment like an OBS. Also, one of the cool things about this green screen is that not only is it green, but it's also a blue screen. So it has two different sides that you can use. This has honestly been one of my favorite investments because I have always wanted to key myself into a custom studio background that I created. And best of all, it's priced at $85. So it's definitely a good investment for you if you're looking to find one that you can take anywhere and also just put away in a corner when you don't need it. All right, and so now the next thing that's obviously important to creating content is audio. And leveling up your audio is super important. They say that 50% of the viewing experience comes from audio. So you can have the best quality video and have horrible audio and people will just be turned off by it. So don't make the mistake of not upgrading this when you're looking to level up your content. So there's some really cool options out there that are under $100. You have the Rode Video Go Mic, Comica has a few different microphones under $100 too as well. And one of my favorite all time microphones that I've used for years on this channel is the Tackstar SGC598. And all of these microphones will work directly with your camera as long as you have a microphone port, obviously. But another really cool thing is that some of these microphones like the Rode that you actually see right in front of me here is you can use it with an external device. So I actually have it connected to my iPhone 8. The recording quality of my iPhone actually is a lot better than my G7 that you're currently seeing me through right now. So I have a little bit more dynamic range versus using just my camera. Now, if you're constantly having to shoot content outdoors and you're always having to raise your aperture level up in order for you not to be overexposed, then you're definitely going to need an ND filter. ND filters are great for this scenario where you need to cut a few stops of light from coming into the camera. What makes this specific ND filter though by Tiffin that's priced at just under $100 is that it's a variable ND filter. So as you can see, as I'm turning this, you notice that it's getting it just a little darker but then I'm able to open it up to get it a little bit brighter. So depending on your scenario, you can actually just turn to what level of neutral density filter you need on your camera in order to expose properly in the scenario of where you're shooting at or whatever it is that you're doing with your content creation. One of the most annoying things about content creation is dealing with the battery life of your camera. The last thing you want is for your battery to die unexpectedly right in the middle of something important happening. This is where you definitely need to look into getting a dummy battery. I'm currently actually using one on my G7 right now, and that's due to the fact that my batteries on my camera, they're not lasting as long as they used to. Most dummy batteries will come supplied with the power supply, so you can just plug it right in. That's designed for your specific camera. And the price range for these is around $24 to $50, depending obviously on what camera system you have. Some cameras out there, you don't even need a dummy battery. You can actually just plug in a USB cable and you can actually use that as a way to power your camera. I know Sony has this option as well as some Canons out there. But if you have a Lumix G7, Panasonic, or any other camera that doesn't have the ability for you to power through USB or any other means, you definitely will need one of these. If you're serious about leveling up your audio, one of the things you're going to need to do is actually get your microphone closer. And like I mentioned a second ago, I actually have my Rode microphone attached to a boom pole. And this microphone stand is actually priced reasonably. And currently right now it's going for $26. This microphone stand is great because it does the job, especially in a scenario like this where I'm just talking to you guys. Now, if you do have a podcast and you are looking to level up your audio when it comes to you creating content, you are going to need obviously a mic. Rode has an amazing microphone, the Rode Pod mic, and it's priced at a little under $100. You will, however, need other accessories to get it running. You will obviously also need a stand, but Blue makes this really cool mic stand that is designed for attaching to different tables. Me and my fiance have actually been using this setup when it comes to content creation for our podcast. These microphones
iPhone stands are awesome because you can move them around and it's not as expensive as some of the other options out there, but it's also not as cheap in quality as some of the other ones out there. One of the things about capturing audio is also being able to understand and hear it correctly. And that's where you definitely need to look into getting quality studio headphones. I highly recommend you look into the Audio Technicas. These are priced at just under $100. The ATH 30Xs are great. They're actually very similar in quality when it comes to the headphones that I actually use, which are the ATH M50s. And those are actually a little over $100. It's all up to you at the end of the day. I highly recommend Audio Technica. They make some pretty good headphones when it comes to monitors that you use on a daily basis. Now, if you're a content creator who streams on Twitch, YouTube, or even Rumble, one of the things you're probably gonna wanna do is level up the quality of your stream. One way you can do that is by using a capture card. Now, I highly recommend you get a good quality capture card, especially one that is made by a company that is reputable and is known for making quality devices for those of you who are in this industry. I highly recommend you look into Camlink 4K. You can actually find this renewed or even used for less than $100. So for those of you out there who are looking to level up your quality of your streams, you definitely wanna consider this. If you're a content creator who uses a mirrorless or DSLR camera, you're definitely going to need to have quality media that's being used in that camera specifically SD cards. Not all SD cards are made the same. I highly recommend you look at the newer SD cards out there nowadays. There's actually new standards that are being developed all the time. So depending on the camera that you have, obviously you're gonna need a certain specification. SanDisk has been my go-to when it comes to using SD cards. They make quality ones. Just make sure that you do your due diligence in buying directly or from someone who is an authorized distributor of these actual SD cards. Because the last thing you want to happen is for you to buy an SD card, shooting videos or photos or whatever it is you're doing with it, and you go in and plug it in and nothing's there. So be sure to buy a quality SD card. And on Amazon, you can actually find these anywhere from 50 all the way to $100, depending on the capacity, obviously. It's insane to think that you can actually get a one terabyte SD card now. It just blows my mind at the amount of media you can hold in a really small, tiny card. So it's important to know where you can level up your content without breaking the bank. So definitely take a look at the items that I listed down in the description of this video down below that were mentioned in this video. And as always guys, have a great day.